Hey, so remember the Dark Universe? You know, the series meant to set up the universal horror movie characters and the connected film series as like how Marvel or DC are doing with their shared universe. Yeah, that was almost a thing where the monsters of universal pictures were, I guess, going to cross over and have a have to fight a bigger threat than themselves. But what I understand, the original first film was going to be Dracula Untold. Then that didn't happen. And then after that, they decided, okay, how about this? We can't do a Dracula film because it just came out we already didn't get the best reception. We can't do a Frankenstein monster movie because that already came out and didn't have the best reception. So let's do it with The Mummy. The Mummy starred Tom Cruise. It was going to be the first introduction of a shared universe of a possible threat that they're going to have to face. And while the movie itself um, wasn't that well received, I honestly have no idea where the next step would be to have this shared universe. Because realistically speaking, unlike the Marvel and DC and comic books, there really isn't that huge of a back catalog of classic monsters to make a shared universe with. What I'm assuming what would happen would be they would either have to establish the previous monster characters, which is the Frankenstein monster, Dracula, I think even the creature from Black Lagoon had a, an appearance in it. And the Mummy was meant to set up this whole universe of possibility where it can go, and Russell Crowe was going to play Dr. Jekyll. I guess he'd be this version's Nick Fury, where he sets up all the events that happen, and the fact there are other monsters in the world. And I guess in some ways, I guess Tom Cruise is now the next Tony Stark. But then again, after The Mummy came out, uh, didn't get the best reception, and uh, all plans were canceled. Now, here comes the, the idea that a cinematic universe of the monster characters is a good idea. One of my f earliest introductions of even seeing a possible crossover of the monster universes even predates Freddy vs. Jason, was Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. A full-on comedy, just here's the monsters of the Wolfman, Dracula, and the Frankenstein monster, all in, under one roof. And while, yes, there is the House of Frankenstein and House of Dracula and Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, the one that comes to my mind all the time is Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. That is the one that perfectly combines horror and humor. Obviously, comedy favors over the horror, but still. The characters are given respect in their own genre and put into this comedic scenario and it worked the monster characters are treated as an actual threat and are seriously still keep the horror elements while Abbott and Costello are just there to make you laugh and they're never taken away from the event that these other characters can be a threat to them so when you put these two together, you have a great already established universe. You don't have to reintroduce Dracula or the Frankenstein monster or do a retelling of why they are here. It's a matter of, I guess if you really have to, you could. But I think at this point, most audiences know who they are. You have Hotel Transylvania, just all the characters. And that was a kid's film. Anyway, I think what, what the, the missed opportunity was, they were trying to make it a superhero movie. As in, like, it, it wasn't treated like a traditional horror film or horror comedy or even a way to just introduce the characters in a proper way. I think when the film was announced, The Mummy, they had this picture released of the cast of the Dark Universe. It turns out that this picture was already edited, which kind of makes sense because you have Russell Crowe like standing awkwardly in the background. They're already trying to set this universe up. And ever since then, when the Dark Universe quote-unquote ended, barely even started, but whatever, it ended, they released other movies with universal monsters in a different different light, as in with the Invisible Man that came out in 2020. Plus, it was Renfield that came out that was also just a funny comedy. I think what why it everything works is because they weren't trying to tell a cinematic universe. They're telling a Dracula story with Renfield, or they're telling an Invisible Man story, but in a modern era where it's not, without spoiling the whole film, it's told in a more modern setting. I think we face this problem a lot nowadays, where everyone wants to establish 15 sequels before even the first film comes out. Honestly, just make the mummy part four with Brendan Fraser. We all want to see it. We'll go watch it. I don't know. Maybe one day we'll get a proper reintroduction to all the universal monster characters again. But until then, we'll have these standalone films and they'll continue to tell stories about these characters in their own way. And it's also the best part of it, too, also. They get their own interpretation. There's no set guidelines to what the characters have to be or stories they have to tell or... Sometimes it's just a parody of the original story. Sometimes it's a whole different direction. It's weird because there are times the universal horror characters are kind of just forgotten about or 
in general just I guess overdone so aren't really done in films that much anymore like every every so often we'll get like a couple of films here and there so that's why it was a good interesting take to see the dark universe be talked about they even had this trailer made where it had this like for some reason heroic music like epic trailer music I guess I don't know why or what they're trying to I guess they're trying to get everyone hyped up for the fact that hey we got these characters or they're all coming back but yeah if you enjoyed this video leave a comment like it share leave a comment saying what you want to see next or if you like the video and uh, thanks again for watching and have a good day